You are listening to Transparency and Merit. My name's Joe. I'm here with Brian. What's going on tonight? Well, Joe, uh, you know, I got this early in the morning, a picture of uh, Representative uh, Katie Hill, who is part of the, uh, let's see, she's part of the 50, I think, what, uh, I just had her. Uh, I thought you said 25th district. I the might 25th be. district, you're correct. Yeah, I had her. Yeah, she was, uh, yeah, she's part of the 25th uh, district uh, that is um, part of the uh, Santa Clarita, you know, the Santa Clarita section of California. That is her district. That's right. And uh, she was caught. There are pictures of her have emerged naked. What? Uh, naked, uh, naked on a couch. Uh, the, the, or, I don't know if it's a sofa or a couch or a couch sofa, but she is naked, uh, grooming what looks to be a female staffer. Some have said it's a male staffer with long hair, but uh, it has yet uh, to be determined because uh, both of all the pictures that I tried to gather, uh, both. The, uh, the 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 face have been uh, blocked out on every one of only the picture of her naked have been uh, have emerged and you can tell that she's completely naked. Uh, one of the pictures you can tell that she's naked from from head to toe. Brian, I haven't uh, found this story anywhere on YouTube. Why? Uh, YouTube tends to bury those kinds of stories. I think if it, if it had been a Republican, uh, you certainly would have seen many more pictures if it had been a male or a female Republican. I, you know, and I could be wrong on that, but I think that there would have been many more stories about this kind of thing. But I think uh, it's protected because maybe it's because it is a female to female uh, and uh, – that uh, that it's a Democrat, and it's a Democrat uh, in, in a seat that that, that one that, that that went that uh, that was previously Republican. So uh, she's not in a very safe seat. So this is really very damaging. Now, if you're coming from a place where the right is always right. Um, you might see it that way. Do you feel that this is a um, a projection of some kind, or are you are you being as neutral as you can be? You know what? I, I, I'm as neutral as I can be because I'm not really look. I'm, I'm I'm much more of a moderate, and I you know I try to look at facts as much as much as I can, and I welcome anyone's response. That's right. To say that that's not true. Uh, you know, and, and this whole thing could be completely uh, false and com- completely, completely fabricated. It could, it, it could even be doctored, as, as you know, all that I know. But uh, have you looked at stories? Like, um, you, have you read any stories on this uh, issue right now? But because you know, unfortunately, like- if something's not, it, we live in a in a time and age. Where I go by a personal law, okay, if a story isn't giving me eight, at least HD quality uh, pictures or video footage, I throw it out the window. Uh, and this is, doesn't look like HD quality to me, but um, it is it is a scandalous picture. I, I, I'm always of the sense that uh, something could be doctored and uh, it's a, more of a sales pitch. We're in an election uh, cycle, so. Yeah. Well, uh, like I said, there is – there are articles now. There is nothing on YouTube. YouTube has completely buried the story. Totally. So there's nothing on YouTube. Twitter is. People are tweeting about it. If you type it in the search engine, but if you type in Katie uh, Katie Hill naked groomer, you're not going to find anything anything out there. And I don't know if it's that basically. Uh, YouTube basically buries uh, mm-hmm. anything in, in, in any of these kinds of stories, and for whatever reason, the mainstream Fox News and CNN is not picking up this story. Um, right. But you know, the thing of it is, I mean, if it's a doctored photo, mm-hmm. you, you, we should be able to see that. But 
uh, a lot, you know, a lot of people have been been putting this out there and saying that this is the real thing that she is naked, uh, you know, grooming a person's hair. And I don't know if it's a well. Now this one says Democratic uh, congressman allegedly had a thruple affair with a young uh, female staffer. So uh, uh, Nimbuster is- Nimbuster commented she most likely did this on purpose to get in with the LGBT crowd so she can run for Senate in a few years. Bold, bold statement, and that that may be very well true. But uh, yeah, this is this is something we're keeping our eye on, and uh, we're really going to see if uh, if in fact this is something that uh, is uh, you know is true or not. It could be a complete uh, you know, like I said, it could be a complete fabrication. I don't think it is. I think this actually happened, and I think that. Uh, you know, she basically had an affair. Of course, I don't think the I, I think the person's of age, and I think it was uh, certainly consensual. Um, there are uh, ethical questions uh, regarding. You know, she is a you know like you know considered somewhat of a supervisor. Or the, was there any kind of misappropriation appropriation of funds given to this uh, staffer that she's grooming naked? Mm. Um, it's certainly, you know, like, I, if 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 I asked you for a haircut and you came out naked, uh, I would, you know, I would be pulling for my weapon uh, to, to have you, you. You wouldn't be cutting my hair, what's left of it. But yeah, I mean, the thing of it is, it seems like there is a relationship here, and how appropriate or in, inappropriate it is remains to be seen. Wow, I I don't and, know. Are you, are you looking at um an article from Tea Party? No, no, I might be. Why? What does it say? Maybe I should send this to you real quick. Let me just send it to you in the, in our chat. We got it. It was just linked uh, in the chat room here, so just make sure you saw it before okay. we. Uh, let's see. I got one from from Red State, and said Katie Hill allegedly involved with a female staffer. Click on that link I just sent you. See if that one's any different from what you're reading. It's the, it's the same one. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. I think it's the same one. Thruple. Let me look here. Yeah, that, that word thruple isn't uh, used very often. So. Yeah. Uh, actually, this one is uh, not the same one, but it is. Hmm. Uh, they're not sending us their best House Democrat accused of a thruple relationship with female staffer and ex-husband then reportedly left them for another campaign worker. And, of course, this also has the picture of her grooming that female staffer, and uh, yeah, let me let me um, let me comb your hair naked. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. So um, she's the first openly LGBTQ woman elected from Congress to California. She is, by the way, not the first um, bisexual because I, I think she's out as queer or bisexual. And uh, the first one was Kristen Cinema, who is now a Senate. I'm surprised Kristen, being from the state of Arizona, has not run for um, not run not in the running for president. I think it would be an even in, more interesting run because she's in a red state, and it would have made it really interesting had she run. And I, and you know what? I'm going to bet you. That in 2024, mm-hmm. Kristen Cinema is going to make a run for the Senate in 2024 if she is not ousted. And, from, and, uh, and what they'll do is they'll start sending us. Uh, they'll be exposing these um, images of maybe um, how modern day sexuality should be done. I mean, I, I don't know who sits around naked um, with their legs wrapped around a person as they comb their hair. Is, I mean, is that, are we supposed to accept that as? You know the new norm is that is that what we all should be doing? Yeah, I mean, and, and it's, weird, uh, it's a weird picture. Right? It, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, I mean, the thing of it is, uh, in both stories, by the way, are kind of telling the same. 
Well, I'm, I'm hearing a large thing here. Sorry about that. But both stories are just saying that she. this is a two-year, what seems to be a two-year relationship. And uh, as I'm looking on Twitter, when you, when you uh, tw- tweet uh, Katie Hill, Katie Hill naked. Okay. Uh, if you go out and tweet, uh, Katie Hill naked while intern sits uh, in between her legs and then brushes her hair. Liberalism, the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, Twitter account has been temporarily locked for the next 12 hours for posing for posting the naked picture of Katie Hill brushing her young female staffer. So there, there have been people who've had locked. The, uh, Twitter has actually uh, basically um, they've enforced this rule about for whatever reason, and I, and I don't know if that's going to necessarily be an issue um, because uh, apparently uh, Twitter has, because there, there were a couple of, of pictures that were rather revealing and uh, people have been, people's accounts have been blocked. Oh, I'm seeing that posting now. posting that picture, yeah. And, uh, you know, it's um, not, you know, like I said, and, and, and maybe that's a good thing, I guess, because it, it might have been a private picture that was that was taken and it wasn't supposed to be seen by the public Hmm. uh but unfortunately it's now it's it it is out there she is a public figure and uh so they were so wait they were at a hotel when this happened this look you know what i mean this picture by the way looks to be this the, the sofa looks to be uh, like a hotel sofa, like okay. a, no, a, ho- a hotel uh, seat, like a, yeah. it's like a sofa cushion kind of thing. And it looks, it looks very hotelish. It doesn't yeah. look like an office. It looks like they're in a hotel. Yeah. That's what some of these and, comments are saying. And, and there is some, uh, hair brushing going on and, uh, <laughs> the staffer looks completely clothed. And the congresswoman looks is completely naked. And you know what's weird? There's not that many comments on. There's not even that many comments. No, no. And uh, I don't think a lot of people know about the story yet. You know what? I think that uh, the internet is burying it. I think the internet is blocking it. Uh, and any story about that. And the truth is, this is a privacy issue. Would my question is. If it were a Republican and a male Republican at that, would the story be as private? And you know what? If that if, if, it, if that's true, then maybe we should respect the privacy. Uh, the thing is, she is a staffer, so she is a subordinate. And were there any appropriate fu- inappropriate funds to that uh, female staffer? That is another thing that we should perhaps uh, be looking into. This uh, this lady says, <clears throat> Katie Hill's vagina is open longer hours than Seven Eleven. And who was that? Someone in, in, in our speaker chat, or is that? Uh... No, it's a Twitter comment by Rock Princess. <laughs> and some Uncle Fester says, "This isn't just uh, naked grooming. Mm. This is absolute sexual." One angry this Jew is, is absolute- back. Yes, but uh, and the biggest uh, takeaway from the thruple hair brushing picture is to confirm my abhorrence uh, of hotel furniture. Always put down plastic. You never know whose naked butts uh, been there, been where you're sitting, and they don't steam clean those chairs often enough. So uh, again, we are uh, we are seeing these pictures, and um, and, and 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 you know what? And and I'm just going to say, just to say this, gentlemen, we are doing a show about this. This is really going under the radar. 
You know, <clears throat> this should be posted up here.